Well, good morning, everybody. This is Jeremy Williams representing Garden City Ammonia Program. Today is April 29th, uh, 2020. Uh, sitting outside on the front porch getting ready for this R717 tip of the day. Uh, today we'll be talking about ammonia and hydrators. And when most people hear that word and hydrator, um, and then you tie it to ammonia, they're like, what the heck is that thing? Uh, simply, uh, it's a specialized vessel and uh, can have many functions. Uh, but um, we'll be getting into that topic today. I hope things are going well for everybody out there. And uh, yesterday, or two days ago, we sent out 75 care packages to our ammonia techs, ammonia operators across the world. We sent them to your PSM managers, coordinators, engineers. Uh, there's still about a dozen or so that we have available. And if your plant wants an ammonia operator care packages, it's going to have hats, shirts, uh, saturation posters, charts, all kinds of goodies inside of it. Uh, contact the office or get on the website and fill out the form that's appropriate for the appropriate addresses going out there. Well, it's a beautiful morning here in Garden City, Kansas. No wind and uh, going to get a lot done today. If you guys haven't been checking out our post on what's happening with our changes, um, we've got a lot, a lot happening during the slowdown here at GCAP. I'm uh, going to come in here and walk into our main engine room and show you the anhydrator. Uh, but walking into the hallway, I noticed the beautiful Harley Davidson that GCAP purchased that's going to be given away July 17th. Now, when we look at July 17th, that's the month of July, which is the seventh month, 17th day, which stands for 717. And when we look at the 717, it just happens to be Ammonia's lucky number. Well, guys, you got a chance to win it. Come to the safe today, Kansas City, Kansas. Um, if you've been a past GCAP student, your name's already in the hat. Uh, we're only allowing 450 registers for the safety day. So first come, first serve. And if you're not registered, you don't get in the door. So be there, be square. 13 different training topics will be taking place. Over 15 different presenters will be there, 50 different vendors. Uh, it's going to be a phenomenal time. So I'm walking into the original engine room, and uh, lots happening, so excuse our mess. And if you're watching this video later on in our YouTube feed, um, you know, this is during a change out of some systems. Uh, our housekeeping is normally not of this level. But come in this direction, you'll see where we've set a vertical vessel here. This one happens to be made by Phillips. Uh, a very, very good company out there, and starting the process of getting things hooked up. It's uh, quite a unique design, and essentially what it is is a vessel with a subcooling cool inside, and uh, we have the opportunity to do batch processes, and we'll put some ammonia in it, and just like making good old moonshine, when the ammonia cooks out of this tank, and uh, it's going to leave its impurities behind, referencing liquids and solids. So coming off the bottom of the tank, you'll see that we have the two one-inch pipes uh, that are being welded in yesterday by Todd that's on the left and the right. If I come back here and I look straight vertical, you'll see a cut in the liquid transfer line that will be feeding the low-pressure receiver over here, some of us call the recirculator. So that line up there that's lime green could be high-pressure liquid or medium-pressure liquid, depending if the system's running single-stage or two-stage. And what we'll do is we'll be taking that liquid through this tank, creating what we call a subcooling effect. Uh, probably going to cool down the liquid by 20, 30, maybe 50 degrees, depending on the application. And if there's any liquid ammonia in there, it's going to flash off. Over here on the left, you'll see the float from H.A. Phillips on the feed. So where my finger's going right now, this feed right here will be connecting to the main pump discharge header. So we'll be taking batch processed liquid from that tank that will be sitting in that shell. And when the warm, high-pressure liquid runs in this pipe and comes out that pipe and it's subcooling cool, it'll cause the remaining liquid ammonia in this tank to flash. Essentially all liquid impurities, water, oil, rocks, welding slag, solid impurities will all stay behind. And it's a batch process and gives us the opportunity to remove gallons of impurities referencing water instead of grams of some of these automatic purgers that are on the market today uh, that have been developed. Nothing wrong with their products. It's just when you have a 10, 15, 100,000 pound ammonia system and somebody's got one, two, three, God forbid, 15% water concentration in a measurement, mm -hmm. uh, that is a lot of water inside of that system. So when you guys come back, System A's and Hydrator should be finished plumbing today. 
a lot of good things happening. Just put a post out a few weeks ago on a hazardous assessment on inspections and testings of some of the pipes that came out of here. Uh, you'll be seeing that come up on our PSM website. Uh, many different ways water can come into your pipes, taking bad charges, running in vacuums, bad pump downs, broken heat exchangers, uh, bad evacuations after maintenance, etc. Most of that stuff comes out of our Crow Book 2. Uh, but nevertheless, um, I hope everybody has a good day. A lot's happening in the engine room. I hope that you can see that it's starting to get its vibrant shine. And we can't wait till you guys come back to Garden City, Kansas. So just to recap here, July 17th is the Ammonia Safety Day, Kansas City, Kansas. It's National Ammonia Operator Calling Sick Day. Get registered if you haven't. If you enroll three, you get two free, 35 bucks a person. You don't want to miss the opportunity. Eight hours of training. It's good for your engineers, safety, contractors, PSM, maintenance managers, ammonia operators, new employees. There's all kinds of topics that everybody can learn. Hope you guys have a good Wednesday. And uh, until we see each other again, keep it in the pipes. And why don't we have another drawing today? Uh, I think we're about out of our hats, but I'm going to make it happen. We've given them all away in the care packages. Either going to get you a sweet GCAP hat or you're going to get you an R717 for life hat. If you want a chance, here you go. I need you to like this post. Number two, I need you to comment another ammonia text name on this post. Uh, put your favorite number that's next to that name between 0 and 300. And last but not least, it really helps us out when you share these things. Uh, you know, a training institute like GCAP during this downtime is the first thing that gets cut. And hopefully we can keep educating the world by you helping us. Till then, take care.